Hello from News 3. I'm Blaine Stewart. Here's what's topping our headlines right now. A man shot in Newport News and may not survive. This all happened a little before two this morning in a parking lot off of Bellwood Road near Jefferson Avenue, not too far from police headquarters. The man who was shot rushed to a hospital. So far, no one arrested. About 30 minutes later at Portsmouth, a woman was shot on Pulaski Street. That's near Deep Creek Boulevard and Des Moines Avenue. You can see investigators in the dark in this video on the scene for several hours this morning. The victim was rushed to a hospital and may not survive. If you are on the job hunt, the Norfolk Sheriff's Department's looking to hire. There is a hiring event Saturday at the Norfolk Sheriff's Administration building on East Street. Starts at 9, ends at 1. You'll need to be 18 or older with a valid driver's license and either a high school diploma or a GED. There will be a physical agility test and a written exam. And News 3 gearing up for our annual Beach Bags Food Drive. We need your help for this program that provides meals and snack to kids who might otherwise go hungry on weekends and vacations. This is happening at Pembroke Mall Thursday from 10 a.m. until 6 in the evening. Now, meteorologist Maddie Kirker in the News 3 First Warning Weather Center. Hey there, Blaine. Good afternoon. We've got a nice day on tap today. Highs will actually be in the 70s, a mix of sun and clouds. And as we head towards overnight tonight, lows will be mild in the 50s. But here's what we're tracking as we head towards tomorrow, especially tomorrow night, heading into early on Thursday. That will be the threat of seeing some strong to severe storms, especially across northeastern North Carolina. That's where we have a level two storm threat. Timing is everything, right? It looks like we'll have the chance of seeing some some showers as we go through early on Wednesday afternoon, but it's again Wednesday night as we head into early on Thursday. The storms begin to roll through. Biggest storm threat as we head into our Thursday morning going to be damaging wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour. We'll be in the 70s next few days. We drop to the 50s by Sunday.